Good afternoon everyone, welcome to another video from Upgrade or Trash It. In this video I've got the Latitude E5410 and I'm going to be walking you through how to install Windows 10 on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, wait for the old girl to start up, Here we go, I'm going to do the, go to the boot menu, okay and what I'm going to do is, by the way that error message that came up, that's because I've just put an SSD drive into this and so it's getting a little bit confused but I've just selected now from the one-time boot menu, the USB storage device, which is where my Windows 10 stuff is on. Now this is an old laptop. It was first launched in the UK back in March 2011. And it's got an i5-560M processor in it, which isn't to be confused with the i5 fifth generation processor this was actually five this processor is five years older than the fifth generation i5 that we're more used to originally this laptop came with four gigabytes of ram this laptop here has got eight gigabytes of ram and it originally came with a sata hard drive but now it's got a sata solid state drive. Let me shut up and just do some of these initial installations. I don't have a product key so I'll do that later. I'm going to do Windows 10 Home as my option. I'm going to accept the license and I'm going to do a custom install, so I'm going to delete some of these partitions. Now, I have, prior to this, I actually timed a video or recorded a video on setting up Windows 10, installing Windows 10 on this exact laptop but instead of the solid state drive, using the original hard disk drive. And the total installation time took 30 minutes. So it'll be interesting to see how long, how much, how, sorry, how much, how much shorter this time takes with the same amount of RAM in it, but with an SSD and not a hard disk drive. Okay, I don't want the Cortana voice assistant on at the moment, so we'll just wait for the screen to move along a bit. Neither do I need the screen reader, fortunately. Okay, so United Kingdom is the right region, and then the keyboard is going to be United Kingdom and I don't want another keyboard. This is all about what data to share with Microsoft, so for the most part I'm just going to put no.
Okay, fantastic. So that is 14 minutes of installation time. So that's less than half what it did with a standard hard disk drive. So the first thing I'm going to do just as some checks to see how well Windows 10 is in has installed on this laptop is for, I'm just going to shut it down because I want to time how long it will take it to start and for me to be able to view a live web page. Okay, so I'm going to take the Windows 10 USB out, start the beast up, get my stopwatch on. Okay, so that is about 45 seconds it, take, it took me to get to this, to this stage. So that is fantastic because again, comparing it with when I had the hard disk drive in there, it took two minutes and 10 seconds. So that's, that's less than half. Let me just write that down. Okay, so other things to check just at the end of this video. Let me just... This is really annoying. Okay, so the first thing I want to check is the activation. Has this copy of Windows 10 activated? And we can see up there, yes, it has. It's Windows 10 Home and it's activated with a digital license. Fantastic. The next thing to check is about updates. So we'll leave that running for now. And then What I want to talk about now, or just check on now, is the drivers. We can see that the, the, the display is absolutely perfect, so that driver has been installed properly. Obviously the Wi-Fi is working because we've connected to the internet. We can see that the um, sound is working as well. I don't think this old laptop has got Bluetooth, so the installations really great and all of the and all of the most important hardware that we need is has been installed properly and in terms of the windows update well i tell you what let's just check and i'll speed up the video Okay, fantastic. So we can see that we can update it because there's just all of those um, updates appearing. So thank you for watching this video, which has been all about how to install Windows 10 on a Dell Latitude E5410.